That sounds good. Thank you. Now to the latest on a dangerous intersection in Springfield, commonly called the X. Earlier tonight, the public heard from local officials on the progress they've made on plans to redesign that area. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson joining us live with the story. Maria. Chris, while the project is years away from fruition, some residents say they are still concerned about certain aspects of the project. How are you going to mitigate the, the public getting a chance to hear from officials on the latest on the X intersection reconstruction project on Tuesday night. The X intersection in Springfield is located at the cross section between Sumner Ave, Belmont Ave, and Dickinson Street. And for years, the city has been working to revamp and redesign the notoriously dangerous intersection. Now, the city is one step closer. We are at the 100% design stage. Those were submitted, what, a month, month and a half ago, something like that? Beginning of May. Beginning of May, uh, MassDOT is doing their review. This is project is going out to bid uh, next spring, April, May time frame. Uh, so for construction to start next year. Officials say the $19 million project will remedy public safety and traffic issues by adding crosswalks and changing the traffic light positions. These are really designed to provide a benefit to the community uh, in terms of increasing uh, public safety, uh, reducing traffic congestion uh, through the, the redesigned road configurations, uh, enhanced open space, uh, through the implementation of not only landscaping. Tuesday's meeting also outlined the project's environmental impact and their mitigation efforts. We'll talk about um, how, how we've tried to mitigate against known environmental impacts uh, where needed as part of the design. Now, part of the NEPA process, uh, there is an opportunity for the public to comment on environmental impacts. Environmental planner Alex Maxwell says any public project that cuts down more than five trees must be reviewed through the Massachusetts Environmental Protection Act, which prompted some concerns from some residents. Equation and carbon, um, uh, you know, recapture and all that. The, the equation doesn't make any sense. Isn't there a way of saving more trees? But officials say while some trees will inevitably be lost, the current proposal would also plant 118 trees. It is a real mitigation measure to try and address uh, what you may lose in losing trees. And in addition to this project, Signoli says that the city has been awarded $15 million from the federal government to improve other intersections throughout the city. Reporting live in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News.